It's 40 minutes past the hour, and traffic in downtown Mystic is coming to a halt. The Mystic River Bridge is about to open. Every hour, the bridge rises so boats can come and go on the Mystic River. After a few minutes, it descends, and everything is back to normal. This process has repeated like clockwork for as long as anyone can remember. The smoothness of it obscures the engineering that went into the bridge a hundred years ago. It's a double beam drawbridge and that basic concept has been around since the Middle Ages. So that aspect of it isn't unique, but it does have a couple of unique features. I think this is a really innovative design and I'm surprised I, I haven't seen more of them. The bridge, based on a patent by engineer Thomas Ellis Brown, was the first of its kind when it was built in 1922. It got some attention in engineering circles for how it solved design problems with drawbridges, also known as bascule bridges. One problem involved overhead counterweights held by balance beams, which until then had to swing through a wide angle to allow the bridge span to fully open. In Brown's design, the beams move through a smaller angle. So that keeps the counterweight from having to actually swing all the way down into the supporting structure that is holding that balance beam. This makes the design of the counterweight a lot easier. It saves on structural steel, saves on erection costs. It you know, makes for a simpler design and probably one then that's easier to maintain. Instead of having to stay parallel to the bridge, the balance beams can move through the smaller angle because of two short linkages that connect arms running from them to the bridge. As the bridge opens up, when it gets about halfway open, the first linkage that's attached to the bridge girder, actually the hinge pin runs into the bridge girder and it can't rotate any farther. And then that's where the second link pin comes into play and you now essentially are rotating about a, a shorter arm uh, than you were originally. Uh, and that's what allows the counterweight not to have to rotate as many degrees as the span to get the full open. Brown's method of operating the bridge, which he patented later, was also new. It involves two wheels on either side of the roadway, called bull wheels, which are powered by an electric motor. I think that could be the most ingenious part of the design, actually. It allows the electric motor that drives the machinery to operate at a constant speed and still have the span start to raise at a slow speed and then increase speed as it gets to the middle of its uh, opening and then slow down again when it gets to full open, which is exactly what a movable bridge is programmed to do. Most movable bridges accomplish that by changing the speed of their electric motor. Plus it provided a very firm lock down in its uh, closed position. Most movable bridges have a, uh, have a span lock, an actual bar that's mechanically driven through a hole on the pier to uh, permanently hold it down when it's in its closed position so it can't accidentally bounce up. But with this design, it was held down forcefully just through that bull wheel and link arm uh, machinery, and they didn't need a, uh, a tow lock or a span lock on the end. And the less machinery you have on a movable bridge, the less things that can go wrong, the easier it is to maintain and operate. But the design, while innovative, wasn't widely used. I'm not sure why we don't see more of that design most of the movable bridges at that time were actually patented designs. So you also run into the marketing aspect of selling your design to customers. And it's possible that uh, T.E. Brown was a brilliant engineer, but a poor salesman. The rarity of the design has been a big part of the bridge's charm over the last century. I find bridges, movable bridges especially, very interesting to, to see and to, to look at. And I would think they would add a lot to a, a downtown area's attraction and draw to people. So I'm glad that uh, 
I'm glad that Mystic is taking care of their bridge.